everyone. I'm in the beautiful Rocky Mountains of Colorado for the global launch of this vehicle. This is a 2023 Mercedes-Benz EQS SUV. This is an all-electric SUV, the third one built on this platform. And it's based on the EQS sedan, which is their luxury sedan. It is actually, compared to it, uh, taller, shorter, and also about the same width. When you look at the design cues, it shares a lot of similar design cues. The lighting, for example, there are three LED lights here, the large black screen here. Underneath the hood, there is no front trunk. Instead, there is the HEPA filter here. This is designed to take out all the impurities, the dust, the dirt in the cabin and really keep it nice and clean. The battery runs along the bottom of the vehicle here. Uh, so you notice when you look inside, and I open the, with these nice flush doors, the floor is nice and flat. So that means there's good leg room uh, and comfortable seating for those people riding in the rear seats. Now this has a range of about 459 kilometers and you can charge it simply by plugging it in here. Here's the AC charger. It takes a little bit of time to charge to a full charge. It's about 11 and a half hours. If you use a DC fast charger, that cuts the time significantly to about 31 minutes um, to get an 80% charge, which is pretty good. Along the back, you have the, the signature lighting here. It's an LED bar that runs across the big pointed star, uh, the badging here. This is the EQS 580 4Matic. This is the top trim. In Canada, we'll have a lower trim that's also a 4Matic as well. Uh, and when you look at the design, very clean, very simplistic, lots of uh, crisp lines and technology, like I can kick underneath the bumper, and it reveals a very large uh, cargo area here. Now, this will come in two different versions. The vehicle we have here is a two road with seating for five, but you can also get it with three rows and seating for up to seven people. So it is a beautiful vehicle in its design and execution, but how does it drive? Let's go take it for a spin and find out. Up, you just put your foot on the brake and push this start stop button. It's quiet, you don't hear anything because this is an all electric vehicle. There is also a fingerprint recognition button here because this is all about technology and you can configure your fingerprint so that you can use it um, and you don't need a key. You can just get inside and start it up. It's pretty impressive. Now we're going to take it um, on some mountain roads here and see how it does. The vehicle that we have here is the 580 4Matic, so it's the top trim that we'll get in Canada. Uh, this is quite powerful. It has 536 horsepower, uh, 633 foot-pound of torque, so instantly when you hit the throttle, you go. <laughs> you feel the speed, it's instant torque. It's so quiet though, it's refreshingly quiet. You don't have any noise in the cabin um, and it's really smooth as you're driving along. Despite the fact that this is a big vehicle, you know, you can get it with seven seats. Um, it hugs the road, it, 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 there's little body roll when you're uh, along these bends. Uh, it really is a smooth, luxurious ride. Now in Canada, you can also get the 450 version. It has less horsepower and less torque, but they both have the same amount of range, about um, 459 kilometers of range. We've driven about uh, an hour and it's actually pretty accurate in terms of uh, what we've lost in range. You don't really have much range anxiety as you're driving along. Now, 
the screen itself is really attractive. I mean, it goes from one pillar to the other and it's <laughs> three different areas where the passenger can watch movies if they want. The main screen um, allows you to do a number of things. You can change the, the lighting inside by just hitting a button uh, up here in the comfort area. Uh, it's really quite cool because you can adjust many things inside the vehicle, you know, go from blue to red to really create a different mood. It also has um, a fantastic system of the Mercedes intelligence system where you can ask the vehicle to do a number of things. Hey Mercedes! How can I help? Can you change the color inside to red? Okay, I'm changing the color. So it's pretty cool. You can do a number of things with this features. So this has about 108 uh, kilowatt usable battery power and then also a 9.6 kilowatt uh, onboard charger in case you need that extra juice. There's regenerative braking as well, um, so you can squeeze out a little bit more range with this vehicle. Overall, it is a beautiful vehicle, drives very well, and now we're going to actually do something a little bit different, something you don't expect. We're going to take it off-roading in the Rocky Mountains. So I'm here with Benjamin Bayer and you are a tech specialist with Mercedes-Benz EQ. You've tested this uh, EQS on all kinds of different roads and now you are taking me or I am taking you off-roading in, in the Rocky Mountains. So how many people are actually going to take this M, uh, EQS off the beaten track? Not so many, I guess. Um, you are one of the, I would say, first 30 people who do that. And I mean, I can see me climbing up the trees here to my cabin and with that nice car. But other than that, I would think so many people get this chance. But if you want to, this is capable of going off-roading. So show me what needs to be done to go off-roading. So maybe we start first with the instrument clusters. You push that little house button and then you have here also like mm -hmm. for off-road special okay. informations that mm -hmm. you're going to need. Yeah. And then one of the most important things is that we switch here the dynamic to the off-road program. Okay. So we have five different driving modes and off-road is really intended for going off-roading. Yeah, it raises the car up mm -hmm. to a ground clearance of 222 millimeters. Okay. It also changes the ESP, your tires if they are slip, mm -hmm. they don't rotate that much. Okay. Yeah. And then you have more control of the car. Okay. Is there anything underneath it to protect, you know, when you're going uh, over rocks or anything like that? Well, there are some plastic parts that also protect the battery and in the front we have like plastic underbody covers, okay. but not a special off-road package. Okay. And here there's another special feature that is in here. You have okay. like an off-road screen. Um, it shows you mm. like the um, steering angle, the suspension, tire pressure, tire temperature and your position. And when you go up that hill, it's hard to tell where to go. Okay. So therefore we implemented a special feature, it's called the transparent hood. Perfect. And then you can see what's right underneath the car. So you just keep climbing like okay. three, four miles an hour. So we're going a pretty steep incline, lots of rocks, it seems to be doing quite well. And you said that we, all, we have 20 inch tires on this. Yes, with all terrain tires. Mm -hmm. okay. So pretty impressive. I don't think anybody's going to be driving. Any owner would drive it <laughs> on this uh, rugged area, but it's cool to see what it's capable of doing. Yeah. And imagine this here, how quiet mm -hmm. you're being yeah. climbing up the hill. Yeah, I've done a lot of off-roading. I've actually done the Colorado Great Divide in, uh, in some Land Rovers, um, and it's nice to do it quietly now. Are there other um, underbody cameras or cameras around that I can see different views? You can see, and this view you can only get like up to five miles 
okay. an hour because mm -hmm. then you are so fast that you don't need to know what's underneath the mm -hmm. car then you can look forward okay you like this view okay. now. oh i see okay yeah and it switched back when you are slower than ah okay course. yeah because i'm like so i can't see anything yet okay we, you go just straight okay and we make a slight turn to the right now you can see the road yeah, again yeah. Mm -hmm. Try the car to keep moving. We want to have control about mm -hmm. brakes and acceleration. And just yeah, now go straight. Just watch that little tree here on mm -hmm. the side. Just keep going straight. Go straight. Still keep going. And now turn right fully completely. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Very slow, very slow, very slow. We can make that. Absolutely. Great job. So this vehicle is made in America. It rolls off the line in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Uh, and that's where they're building electric vehicles like the upcoming Mercedes-Benz EQE. And they have a battery facility nearby as well. So that really reduces supply issues and really brings uh, a homegrown feeling to this uh, German-made vehicle. It is now North American made for the Canadian market. It does come with a steep price tag though. The base model, the 450 uh, formatic, starts around 140,000 Canadian. The vehicle I'm driving here, the EQS 580 formatic, starts at $158,000. They're pricey, but it's a beautiful, luxurious ride um, that is green and all electric and made in America. Thanks for watching Motoragatsa. Please comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Ciao, ciao.